Yesi yes Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana yes. In this video, I want us to listen to a shocking revelation by Mwingi West Member of Parliament, Charles Nguna. The revelation is worth analyzing and discussing in this forum. Listen to this. Please raise ali maliza mbunge kabisa hata hatuna mbunge la Kenya. Mimi nataka ni msiende nyumbani. Sisi wa mbunge, sisi wa mbunge tunakula pesa mbure. Hakuna kitu tunaweza saidia wa Kenya kwa sasa. Hata tukimake policy. Hata tukimake policy zote zitaenda kungeuziwa state house. That is really dangerous mheshimiwa. Hata hakuwa na mbunge Kenya. Including kesho una, unasema kipenga kipulizwe na muende home. Eh hey, kila mbunge aende nyumbani. Hakuna kitu tumesaidia Kenya nao. Are you serious with this? I am very serious. Kwamba bunge limefeli and it's time kila mmoja aende nyumbani. Hata ukitengeneza sheria gani haifuati. Sasa wewe unatengeneza unatekeleza sheria gani kama haifuati? Ina maana kwamba kesho mtakuwa mmeketi pale a year in year out mkikula for pesa example, za wakenya buri. For, for example, tuliuda tu budget ambayo inafaa kusaidia wakenya. Supplementary imekuja imechange kila kitu. Sasa hiyo budget ilikuwa ya nini jamani? Kuharibia wao oh, bunge wanaenda kwa maoteli kubwa wanafly hata Mombasa kutekeleza hiyo budget lakini unakuja unabadilisha kila kitu. Jamani tunaelekea wapi? Okay. Tunaelekea wapi? Right. Hii bunge this is the most useless parliament I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Sema, 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 I am in the 13th parliament and this is the most useless according to you. It's the most useless parliament and I'm there. I'm a member of parliament. <laughs> I am totally disappointed. Hakuna kitu tunafanyia wa Kenya. And we know, tunafaa ku, hata kupea wa Kenya apology. Ooh. Kama wabunge. Yes. Hatuja zaidia wa Kenya. Yes. Ile wakati wa Kenya wali expect to watete wengine walienda state house wakapokea elfu mm -hmm. moja na wakakuja kunini ku vote yes wanajua wana, wana hiyo sheria ina dhulumu wa Kenya mm -hmm. jameni kuna mbunge gani hapo I am sad listening eh. to what you are saying eh. and if it's the, it's the truth then wa Kenya wana staili kuwa macho zaidi kusiana na mahali tunaelekea kama taifa hili la Kenya and hapo that is the feeling you have as a, pal, as a member of parliament hapo kidogo ni kama wanavyo sema wa Kenya kinaturamba thus mwingi west member of parliament a wiper mp this mp was in the last parliament and comparing the last parliament and this current parliament, he believes this is the worst, most useless parliament. A parliament that should be dissolved. And there are some very interesting remarks he's making. On finance bill, he's making it very clear that MPs were invited at state house where they were given 100,000 Kenya shillings. They were paid 100,000 Kenya shillings to vote yes for the finance bill 2023. That's a very serious allegation. And if actually that's true, then I'm in concurrence with the member of parliament that this 13th parliament should be dissolved and actually he goes ahead to expose and to explain on how these members of parliament are wasting taxpayers money on some useless meetings and trips around i want us to dig deep into those sentiments for Kenyans to understand exactly what is happening 
behind the scenes. If you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's proceed. Let me start by saying this. For those who have been following me keenly, I've always maintained that most of these elected leaders are in politics to make money. They care less about the welfare of the ordinary mwananchi, the so-called hustlers. They are in politics purposefully to make money. I'm also a very strong opinion that any leader supporting this current regime, that's a leader worth being voted out. Because those leaders in Kenya Kwanzaa have proved beyond any reasonable doubt that they don't have the best interest of the people at heart. And I'm saying that because even before these members of parliament voted on the Finance Bill 2023, a bill that has seriously raised the cost of living, a survey was done that showed that 93% of Kenyans were against that Finance Bill 2023. And these Kenya Kwanzaa members of parliament, together with some of the new MPs, they still went ahead and voted for Finance Bill 2023, a bill that has really increased the cost of living. And besides that, ladies and gentlemen, just recently, Kenya Kwanzaa members of parliament were at State House Nairobi, where they were trying to tell William Ruto that they are getting unpopular on the ground if the cost of living continues going up. And I did explain that those were hypocrites because they're the same same people who passed that bill in parliament. So these are leaders who don't have that best interest of the people at heart. And also if you look on how these members of parliament are behaving, there is a lot of insecurity in the country. William Ruto is in the process of sending 1,000 police officers to Haiti. And he's doing that at a time we are seeing Kenyans going through a lot of economic stress, a lot of insecurity in the North Rift, a lot of insecurity in Lamu. We are seeing Kenyans dying of El Nino. As that is happening, William Ruto is in the process of sending 1,000 police officers to Haiti. And just look the ratio of police officers to Kenyans. By law, it should be around one, one police officer to around 450 Kenyans or other citizens. What's happening today in Kenya is that we have a ratio of one, one police officer to over 1,000 Kenyans. So even the current police officers are not enough to actually provide Kenyans with the security they need. But even with that reality, Ruto still has a plan of sending police officers to Haiti. And I'm very sure, should that debate come before parliament, parliament will actually approve eh, that kind of a debate and they'll send the police officers to Haiti. So it's clear, ladies and gentlemen, that the current parliament does not have the best interest of people at heart. And that's why I also believe strongly that to actually send a strong warning and to teach William Ruto and this parliament a lesson in the next election or come that 2027, any leader supporting William Ruto be that leader be a senator, MCA, MP governor, any leader supporting William Ruto should be rejected. By Kenya rejecting those leaders, they'll send a very strong warning to future leaders. And they'll now listen more to the ground than listening to those in power. 
That's what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen. As I conclude, the member of parliament has just confirmed beyond any reasonable doubt that the MPs are not working. And now when I say that these members are just there for money, Kenyan should actually take me seriously. And if, if the MPs themselves can actually come out in public, to admit that they are not serving the people. Who are you to doubt? Or who are you to actually question? Mm. It's actually true. These members of parliament are just there to make money and to enrich themselves. Let me stop it there for now, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe. Give this video like any person who may want to support our forum contact me through that number let's meet in our next analysis thank you god bless you god bless kenya